I uh, pulled this out of the dresser this morning. It was all wrinkled, so I sprayed water on it, put it in the dryer for 10 minutes. Still a little wrinkled. Hey, welcome back to the video I've been making pretty much every year now. And it's, this time it's in the same place with virtually the same exact setup. My pad is like, oh, look at this light. Oh, oh, oh. Creativity. <laughs> this is going well so far. <laughs> <laughs> I ran into Sean Rizwan in Central Park earlier this year in May, and he guessed how much money I made. I want to say like 500k a year. Whoa! I don't know. I have to stick around, find out, see if it happened. All right, but for real today, I'm going to break down my gross and net revenue for my business from this entire year, and there's six categories. One, YouTube AdSense. Two, affiliates from YouTube. Three, digital asset sales and YouTube sponsorships. Four, commercial work. Five, my wedding, photo, and filmmaking business and six, online education. After I give you the gross revenue of all six of those, I'm going to talk about my expenses and then give you the net revenue for the entire year. This video is strictly for education, uh, information, and inspiring people. I don't ever want this to come across as me just toting how much I make um, for no reason at all. The last thing I would want is for this video to feel more discouraging than encouraging. I just really want it to be fuel for you and your business growth and letting you see what's possible for yourself. So financial YouTubers have been losing their credibility since the fall of the stock market and the crypto market in recent months in the last year. The last thing I would want is to lose that credibility with y'all. I want to earn your trust. I want to keep your trust. And so I'm hoping that the transparency in this video does that. Um, and that, yeah, I'm just genuine with the way I make money and that I don't want to do it just for the sake of making money. I said this last year and I truly mean it that if this channel were to ever devolve into something less than what it is, I would want it to burn to the ground. That if it doesn't help anymore, that it's only positive for myself and not for the people watching it, I don't want it to exist anymore. So I hope that gives some sort of credibility as I approach this. Yeah, I just hope you enjoy this. This is the kind of video that I always like watching. And to be honest, this type of video by other people is the reason I have been able to increase my income year after year. So I hope it does the same for you. Category one, YouTube AdSense. In 2022, I made $11,588.85 in ad revenue. But in 2021, I made $11,552.29. $6 more. Woo. <laughs> Weirdly enough, last year I had 3.8 million views and about almost double the amount of subscribers. But that was because I made a couple meme videos that were super short. If you actually look at my retention rate across the channel, uh, my average view duration was a minute and 40 seconds in 2021, as opposed to my retention rate in 2022, which is three minutes and 35 seconds. It's because I didn't make one minute long meme videos that got a million views. <laughs> First, a word from our sponsor, Squarespace. <laughs> But with that as well, uh, because of the content I was making with being longer form and about other things other than jokes, the RPM was much higher, uh, the rate per mil, uh, which is what I make per thousand views on a video. So $7.90 per thousand views on a video versus the $3 and four cents that I was making in 2021, which YouTube ramped that number way down because of the meme videos. Uh, so uh, it grew throughout the end of that year into 2022 and kind of stabilized. Well, that's an interesting metric. It's most definitely the least important financial metric in my business. One of the smallest ones and one that I don't really take all that seriously because YouTube is more of a marketing machine than uh, a place to make money on AdSense for at least my category of content. All right, category two, affiliates from YouTube. So affiliates are any kind of company that I'm promoting or any kind of product that I'm promoting in the description of any of my videos. Out of all of those affiliate sales throughout the year, I made $20,011.23. I can't give specifics on which brand gave what because that's against contractual agreements, but I can give the whole number on the entire year. Category three is a combination of my digital assets asset sales and my YouTube sponsorships. Again, I can't disclose the specifics on each of these based on contractual obligations that I have with specific companies, but I can give the entire picture on all of it all together. And that number was, where is it? $84,156.92. <laughs> this is a growing part of my business as I do more and diversified sponsorships as well as the sale of digital assets that help creative people in the photo and video space. Category four is commercial work. So this is mostly, you no, know, it's, it's all video work. It isn't a whole ton, but it was still a substantial chunk of income throughout this year and stuff that I tackled with people in Creative Club and will hopefully join forces with moving forward and a lot of the more commercial work we do in the 
coming year. So that includes work with Interior Define Furniture Company, a long-term relationship I've had with a chiropractor that I do content for down the street. Leica, which was crazy, is one of the last videos I made about re-release of the M6. Music Bed, I'm doing my own individual commercial for them and uh, running that on Facebook and Instagram. This even includes money that Meta or Facebook paid to me for the bonuses on Instagram Reels. I had one kind of pop off and I've been paid a hundred bucks here and there the last few months of 2022. So all of that commercial work uh, totaled to be $39,000. $522.21. Category five, my wedding photo and filmmaking business. Now this one is constantly evolving. And as I said in my financial recap last year, I only shot 15 weddings last year and had been dialing it back because of all the other stuff I'd been doing on YouTube, making a course, doing more commercial work, podcasts, new channels, all that stuff. And this continues to be ratcheted back further and further year after year, um, diversifying with associates. And uh, this year I actually only did a dozen weddings. I only have two or three booked for next year and plan on only doing about five or six. So I can still be doing stuff in that space and teaching about it. Truth be told, moving forward, um, as I get to be more picky and choosy, with the weddings I shoot. I really mostly care about people that line up with my work philosophically and are able to pay the rate that I'm willing to do it for because now we have four kids and a lot of these include travel. So I'm trying only to do about half a dozen a year at this point. So this number includes weddings that I have shot this year on my own, uh, retainers that I've booked for next year, as well as payments through my associates, both my associate photographer and my associate filmmaker. And that total number was $99,315.29. Just missing the six figure mark. And finally, category six, online education. This is the component that has completely blown up my business this past year, year and a half. I always wanted to do a course on wedding filmmaking and wedding photography and I finally was able to roll that out in 2021. In that video, I had only taken about two months of payment from my online course, but the first four months of 2021 were the final months of payment in that first enrollment, and we did another enrollment period in the summer, which was another six months of revenue on the course. This was a very substantial part of my business this year. I'm also including my income from Patreon this year, which is a $10 a month service I have for extra behind the scenes and extra educational content, and just a place where people could support what we do on the channel now. To be honest, this endeavor has truly truly transformed my life and my family's life. So before I say this number, I just want to stop and say thank you to everybody that has trusted wanting to learn from me through the classroom and through Patreon. I was a classroom teacher back in 2013 um, through 2015, and I had a $40,000 salary doing that. And I went to college to do that. And I never could have dreamed of making this kind of money, teaching people something that I love and something that my students love uh, so much. And so I just wanna thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to have a platform to do that. And it was an insane amount of work to put two 15 hour courses together, but it's so cool to see how much it has served people, um, how well people are responding to it and how much success they've gotten from learning from it. This year, I do plan on moving it to Evergreen with no enrollment period. So I want to break it down into smaller chunks and we're still figuring out what that's going to look like, but hopefully this spring into summer, it'll be available again for enrollment and indefinitely open for enrollment. So be on the lookout for that. The total number with all the education this year was $263,640.49. Yeah. It's just, I, I fully, I'm fully aware that that is a large number. I'm fully aware of what is possible in the educational space being just an unlimited ceiling of what that number could be. And the truth is I'm getting to a point with money and with finances where I, I, I'm not super interested in making a whole lot more for the sake of making more. I don't really think I've ever felt that way. I'm um, getting to a place where I could sustain my business and my career and anybody that works for me, first and foremost, my family. It's just mind blowing to sit here and, and work through these numbers year after year and seeing the growth. And again, it's brought me to a place of of imposter syndrome, of feeling like, do do I even deserve this amount of tangible success? It's something I, I regularly need to humble myself on and be grounded in, that it could be taken away at any time, um, truth be told. any Anything on the internet, anything in life could be taken away at any point. So I wanted to be clear that I am deeply and profoundly grateful for what I'm able 
um, to do and make now with this outlet. And I just want to make that abundantly clear in this video. So thank you. So given all that information, all of those categories, my business's total gross revenue for 2022 was roughly $518,234.99. Over half a million in gross revenue. Again, never thought that was even possible. Pretty mind blowing. But as all you business owners and entrepreneurs know, that number doesn't mean anything without evaluating expenses. So my expenses included associate payouts, my wedding photo and video business, documentary trips, because we did a full blown, full length documentary this year going to seven different cities. So all the expenses of that, gear and software, especially for the doc getting new gear, like the C70 over there and the C70 that's recording me. <laughs> my new employee, Shua. Come here, Shua, say hi. You've seen Shua a few times. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Paying him. <laughs> and then classroom payouts for my course, um, equity profit in that, and everybody who helped me design and distribute uh, the classroom. And then my assistant, my online assistant, expenses like that. Uh, the total spend for 2022 was $204,704.89. So my total net income for 2022 was $313,530.10. That's roughly a $50,000 increase from 2021, and I'm not projecting to make more in 2023. I'm kind of at a place where the business has sort of plateaued, and I don't even know what's possible with an evergreen model on the classroom and you know what the doc is going to do when we release it. We literally have no idea. So this year is much more about experimentation and investing and reinvesting that money into new endeavors and really things that I want to do where I can really step back and not have to do a 40 hour work week, which is what I was able to do this year and still make more money. Um, and so that's always been the goal and it's given me more time. It's given me more time to spend with my family and that's what I care about most. And I want it to continue to do that. I have four kids and it's to the point now where our oldest is eight years old and I keep talking to my wife about how he's like halfway to adulthood and that's mind blowing to me. And I don't wanna waste the years I have with my kids and I want to make sure that this business is successful enough that I can provide for them obviously and provide for people who work for me and work alongside me. Um, but the, at the end of the day, what I care most about is having more time with them. And it's been so amazing to see that I, I've been freed up to do that and will continue to be freed up to do that. So I hope you're doing well in this new year. Happy 2023. Uh, I love you all. Thank you for watching and uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye.